श्री नरेश गुजरा थैंक यू सर सर आई कमेंड द ऑनरेबल फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर फॉर ब्रिंगिंग इन दीज अमेंडमेंट्स टू द बेनामी एक्ट दीज अमेंडमेंट्स वंस पास्ट विल इंश्योर दैट डिसऑनेस्ट पॉलिटिशियंस डिसऑनेस्ट ऑफिसर्स एंड क्रूक्स आर नॉट एबल टू पार्क देयर इल गॉटन वेल्थ इन द नेम्स ऑफ द रिलेटिव्स फ्रेंड्स or dummy entities sir this bill was examined in great detail by the finance committee and i was a member of that committee and there i pointed out that a number of transactions this is in this country especially in the metropolitan cities have taken place on par of attorney basis the money that was invested was legitimate money but because of artificial barriers for some reason properties were not registered in the name of the actual owners and i am very glad that the honorable finance minister has taken cognizance of our recommendations and relief has been given on that account sir i have one question for the honorable minister and i am sure he'll clarify on that when the agriculture land ceiling act was enacted way back after the independence many people had put their lands in the name of their relatives friends etc and over the years many of these properties came back to the actual owners when their children became 18 what happens to these properties especially those properties which came back to the binamidar after 1988 because at some stage they did infringe on this act so what would be the position of those lands if the honorable minister could clarify sir when it comes to the limitation period it is important that both initiation and completion proceedings are time bound right now 30 days have been given for related parties to furnish all the evidence given the fact that most of our land records in the country are not computerized i think 30 days is too short a period and i hope that the finance minister would reexamine this and some kind of even if he keeps 30 days in the act but some kind of uh, leeway should be given if a person is not able to provide all the evidence in 30 days and this could be done by appealing to the higher authority so similarly all proceedings must get over within 2 years because we have seen that in the income tax proceedings drag on for years together and it would be very unfair that when somebody's property has been repossessed by the state proceedings are uh, are hanging fire for an undue period of time sir i feel that if the tribunal wants to extend this period beyond what is stipulated then he must appeal to the high court and this must be confirmed only by an high court so that again an assessee is not harassed sir i have only one problem with this bill land being in list 2 being a list to subject under schedule 7 of our constitution rights over confiscated land should actually belong to the state and not to the center in this bill all the land which is confiscated will go to the center and i don't think that is in the true spirit of cooperative federalism sir so in the end i would like to point out that since the initiating officers would be an assistant or a deputy commissioner of income tax and approving authority would be an additional commissioner or a joint commissioner of income tax powers extended to these officers in addition to the powers that they already enjoy under income tax act run the risk of arbitrary and unreasonable and exploitative uh, nature as it is people are complaining of tax terrorism i hope 
that the Honorable Finance Minister will put in necessary safeguards to ensure that ordinary citizens are not harassed. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Sri Gudralji.